So I'm sitting here 12.39 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, April the 19th, um, monitoring the Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia weigh-in, or they actually are having a ceremonial weigh-in at 2 p.m. Eastern in about an hour, 20 minutes or so. And a ceremonial weigh-in means that they weighed in earlier in the day. Whenever you see UFC weigh-ins, you know, 6 p.m., 7 p.m. or so Eastern, those are ceremonial weigh-ins. The fighters by that time had already rehydrated. So news has come out that Devin Haney, well, excuse me, Ryan Garcia has weighed in three pounds over the 140 pound limit. Three pounds. Three pounds. Yesterday at the final press conference, they, in fact, I'll let you see the clip. Take your time out, like the video, subscribe. This is from the uh, video I did yesterday. We're going to the center of the ring. We'll see what you do. Nobody's worried about that. Go run, go fucking go to the center, do whatever the fuck you want. I'm gonna hunt you down. I'm just, I'm gonna fucking knock you out. This is from my stream $500, yesterday. Five hundred thousand dollars. Five hundred thousand. How much? Bet. So whoever come on the way, pay five hundred thousand. A hundred percent. Okay, that's a bet. I'm not gonna come out of way. Whoever come on the way, pay five hundred thousand. His dad said no. Oh, he just bet. He just bet. It's a 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 bet. No, five. No, it's five. No, five hundred. Five hundred. No, five hundred thousand per pound. Hey, hey, Ryan. 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 Hey, hey, Ryan. Whatever you say, Dad. I got you. Hey, Ryan. Let's do five hundred thousand per pound. Okay. Let's do a shake on it. That was from the stream I did yesterday, and as you can see, Ryan Garcia uploaded this about an hour ago on his way to the uh, weigh-in. Look at his face. Look very ghoulish. I feel great despite how I look. So how did they know that he was going to weigh in more than overweight? And I wonder if that's his manager right there in the background, like, oh, shit, yo, uh, he looking like he's not going to make, oh, my God, they smoking him. They smoking him. So um, there's no video of the way in because it's private. So they must have known something. I don't know if Ryan Garcia is taking the fight serious or not. I don't know if Ryan Garcia. You know, not a good look for Ryan Garcia. 143.2 per source. He will be eligible. He will not be eligible to fight for the title. That's obvious. Absolutely disaster. It is a disaster. We expected something, right? Of course, I'm picking Ryan Garcia. Now, I was already picking him, but 143.2, that's disastrous. I wonder what they're saying here. By the way, follow me on Twitter. We're going to be doing a live stream. Here, I'll pull up the link for you. Um, on my channel, after the uh, weigh-in, recapping all of it. There's my uh, channel right here. I was watching... Late night with the devil on uh, AMC Plus before this news broke. But here, we're going to be doing a video uh, later on. Um, after, it's still going to be the stream after this. Um, where I'm going to talk about the Hayden Garcia recap, you know, 140 pound division. Uh, the PBC, Jamel, Charlo, Israel, Madrimov, WBA situation. And of course, what's going on with the WBC and WBA at 168 and David Morrell moving up. So let's go see what people are saying. Fucking Ryan Garcia. And the tickets got the nerve to be so expensive. You know what? We're a day away from the fight. Let me go check the ticket prices. That's very normal for title fights. No, it's not. Somebody was telling me um, as much boxing as I covered. Somebody was trying to tell me that they have ceremonial weigh-ins. That ceremonial weigh-ins are normal for title fights. They are not. Ceremonial weigh-ins are only normal for, let's say, for example, um, Top Rank has had a few, several actually. But we don't watch weigh-ins, ceremonial weigh-ins, to talk about on social media after how the fights look, how the fighters look drained. I'm sorry, no, it's not. In fact, I'm gonna retweet this. By ceremonial, my bad, this is petty.
Anyway, I'm sorry. That was petty. But no, like ceremonial weigh-ins, like I knew something was up. And yes, Devin Haney has had a few ceremonial weigh-ins where he weighed in earlier in the day. Now, when you're when you're fighting for the IBF, yes, well, depending on the rules, they decide to employ you on their night. You weigh in earlier in the day. But normally when fighters agree to a ceremonial weigh-in, that's because they don't want to be embarrassed on the scale later on during the live weigh-in. So usually the teams may think like, okay, you know, something we, we're not confident. Let's have it behind closed doors. So they're Therefore, we can get a deal done um, before the fight and not basically bullshit around too long. So, yeah, hearing that he's three pounds over, it's a disgrace. Disgrace. Three pounds, though? And you looking like this? I don't believe you. So now it's like, oh, no, nah, bro. Like, go to 147. So he out there drinking, bullshitting around, playing with people, money. And look, let me pull up these ticket prices. Take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe. Let me pull up these bullshit ticket prices. Let's go look at them. I wonder if they went down. I've been I've done about three different videos on these tickets this week. By the way, I had the flu last week. So my voice is all jacked up. Look, let's see how much the bullshit tickets cost. This ticket. Look, $187 just to get in the building. $4,000. Let's see if you want to sit in the middle somewhere. 800, 900. And then look, look at all these tickets still available that you can buy right now, the pink or resellers. You can buy these tickets right now. They need to just close this whole upper bowl, bring them all down here, curtain this shit off at the top. And then the undercard is shitty. And these are the things they don't like us talking about. They don't want us talking about it, but why can't we tell the truth? Next time you got to do better. When you're asking for $80, this is an $80 pay-per-view. And you got Ryan Garcia out here bullshitting around the whole promotion of the fight. So now I do think he's a drunk. I think that weight is those that liquor, them liquor carbs. Trust me, T-Street's been there. And I bet you they probably cooking him. Let's see what they saying. I want to see what they saying to you, Ryan. You piss me off, Ryan. How dare you? How dare you, Ryan Garcia? How dare you? After all this is, I pissed myself laughing. The worst drained overweight fighter. Yes, he is. Like, how you looking this drained and you overweight three pounds? Bro, make a cut the last minute. Very risky. Bro, idiot. Take your time out, like the video, subscribe on T Street Controversy with 5 3 6 We're going to be delving deeper into this um, at 3.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is about two and a half hours from now. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Oh, and follow me on Twitter. The link is down below in the description box.